I went to Ikea to buy a table and came home with this and this. Yeah, we've all been there. I'm going to put these plants and also some animals in this glass house terrarium. With today's house prices, this was about 150,000 euros. I'm mixing my own substrate, starting with cocoa fiber and wood chips, adding some potting soil, mixing everything, adding some soil for my garden. You're probably thinking that shovel is too small. Well, think again. Yeah, that should do it. This is more my size. I'm adding the soil because it contains all the nutrients, microorganisms and organic matter that the terrarium needs. Also, as a biologist, I can tell you this is a snail. And also, as a biologist, I can tell you this is cat shit. Mixing the substrate again before we add it into the terrarium. Now, let's put it in. That's what she said. I'm just covering the whole bottom with substrate. Don't worry, I'll hurry up. Whoa, that camera angle switch. Fast forward, so you don't have to sit through that boring stuff for too long. And that all without making any mess. Rearranging the substrate a bit. Okay, I'll admit it. At this point, I'm just doing it to show off my tools. Since this is a bonsai, first we need to trim it a bit. Yep, that should do it. Now I'm removing the soil it came with. Please don't take plant advice from me. I'm probably killing it right now. As a biologist, I can tell you this is... Um, I... This is a small palm. The funny part is, I'm actually a biologist. Just not a very good one. I'm separating the palms, so I can use a few. But the bonsai is going in first. I rearranged it a bit more off screen, so you don't have to watch that boring stuff but not before another crazy camera angle switch. Amazing. Don't know what I'm doing here, but okay. Palms are also going into the back, so they don't block the view. That is one. And number two. Three. Four. And five. Um, I lost count. Shouldn't have put in two together, but I'm pretty confident that there are somewhere between one and 100 palms in there. The terrarium without moss is like a vacuum that is on. It sucks. I need to hurry up a bit because these two are waiting for their new home. I will add them later. But first, let's add the moss. Again with the camera angle switch. I'm such a pro. I know how much you guys like to see me add moss. So enjoy. Big piece in the front. Adding this piece of wood, just because I could. And we have our first resident. I think it's a species of roundworm. I know that because it's round and it's a worm. Adding a rock. Looks nice. Putting some bark in the back. Yeah, nice troll loser. Keep watching, it's not done yet. Watch out, fast forward of me adding moss incoming. Now I'm going to shut up for a few seconds, because you're probably tired of my voice. So what are you going to do this weekend? Yeah, I don't like awkward silences. Also, please consider liking this video. My goal is 80,085 likes. Just a random number. Almost done with the moss. Lost pieces. And giving them a pet. For some reason. Adding some dead leaves. This is decoration and food for the animals. I hope they will love their new home. Giving the terrarium a light spray. These plants can handle a high humidity level. This terrarium is ready to move in some animals. Also, I really need to take a course on how to film. This sucks. Because millipedes hum 24-7. I have an unlimited supply of them in another terrarium. Here is a baby one. And yes, I know, my fingers are dirty. I've been playing in soil. Isn't it cute? This is an adult of another species. And yes, I should have washed my hand before. I wouldn't want to be on there either. I don't trust these bastards. They are going to eat all my plants, so they are going back in the old terrarium. Remember when I said that millipedes hum 24-7? I have made my point. I separated two millipedes for one minute. And this happened. That is also why I'm putting only three millipedes in the new terrarium. One baby and two adults. There they go, ready to explore their new habitat. Or you know, just don't care and keep hanging. At this point, it looks like they're eating each other. 
let's give them some privacy. This is the end result. And there's a legend attached to this terrarium. Legends say that these two are banging to this day. Before I end the video, I want to do one last thing. I want to thank all patrons and everyone that watched. No new patrons this week, step up your game people. No, I'm kidding. I'm very grateful for all the support I'm getting. Thank you. Watch this video next.